Welcome to another episode of Hard Target Range. Let's go shooting. This week we're looking at this Glock 19 I picked up a couple weeks ago used. It came with these fiber optic night sights on the top and what I did is I removed the one on the front because it was so elongated I just plain was not real comfortable with it number one being stable and number two it's so elongated it reduces your sight radius it just doesn't make sense I had a metropolitan uh, night sight that was pretty close I think it's a little lower though frankly so I don't know that we're gonna be right on there but I'm gonna put I've decided a battle hook rear sight on it like my other one which has this sight on the front which shoots absolutely perfect so I'm gonna do that I have noticed that the sight here is a little off to the left whoever put it on didn't get it centered so let's shoot it and see what we have Well, there you go, guys. You can see I had to shoot a little low and a little to my right to compensate for the sights. The front sight isn't quite right height, and the rear sight, of course, like I talked about, is not dead center. They didn't put it on dead center, so, well, there you go. That's, that's why you need to put your sights dead center. <laughs> so it's shooting a little off. I had no problem on that last string shooting low and to the right and yeah there you go so as soon as i get the opportunity i'm going to give myself a battle hook sight for the rear take this one off and put it on so we'll try to get that done i just soon have it set up identical to the other ones i have anyway so it was just kind of a temporary deal i did however put a little epoxy in there to keep those in just in case i liked it which i don't so they're coming off so i've got a sped of set of spare sights for a model 19 if you're interested well there you go guys a nice little gun and pretty much like the rest i'm sure once i get the sights the same it'll do just fine it'll be dialed right in okay guys here we are back inside with a glock 19 and i would have stayed outside but the wind kind of makes it hard in the microphone but it's just a beautiful day outside it's almost 40 degrees can you believe it it actually is kind of making the shooting range a little bit of a mess because the ground's frozen except for the top inch is, is thawed and slippery. <laughs> so I, I want to talk about this, this gun, you know. I picked this up a couple weeks ago when I did that video of the, about a month ago, I think. Maybe more. And it was used, but really hardly even used at all. The fellow got it and put these sights on and gave it to his wife and and it didn't go over big. It wasn't a, it was on a great anniversary present, I guess. <laughs> so I came back to the shop and he traded it for something he wanted. But it had those True Glow fiber optic night sights on there. And I took the one off the front because it just, I'm not real comfortable with it. It's kind of an elongated affair. You lose your sight radius and it's, yeah. You know, if you knock it, it, there's not a lot of, it puts a, it's got a lot of leverage on how it's attached. Because it's not attached except for screwed in up here. So you got a lot of leverage there if you hit it. Not, not something I really liked. So I decided, well, I had one of these Metropolitan uh, Tritium Night Sights in the drawer and just sitting there going bad. I put, I put that on, took the other sight off. And this one was a little bit lower, I think. It's shooting a little high now, and yeah, it's also shooting a little to the left because the sight wasn't originally put on correctly by the guy that put it on, <laughs> which not was not me. It's not dead center on the slide, and you know, the front sight is, so why, why shouldn't the rear sight be, says I. Pretty much if you put them on dead center, they work right. So I think this is going to, and I'm going to put, I don't think I know, 
probably after Christmas, if, if I've got some extra funds, I will buy myself a battle hook sight for the rear. Yeah, I will. Then it'll match the other guns I have because that's that's how the other guns are set up with this Metropolitan Night Sight in the front and a battle hook sight in the rear. And might as well have, if it's a backup, it should be the identical thing to the other gun. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be taking this off and doing that. But other than that, shot fine. As soon as I figured out where it was shooting, I had no problem. But I should have gone to the soft target range and shot it first on paper to see where it was shooting. Because it was a new gun for me. I'd never shot it before. And I didn't even think about it that way because yeah, I got so many other Glock 19s. It didn't even dawn on me that this is a new gun. I should go over to That's what I always do. I go to the paper range and put the target up and shoot it up close and personal. And then walk it back and see how the sights are and where they're hitting. So, And I didn't do that here. And I should have. Well, there you go, guys. Before I leave you, let me just thank you for watching my show, The Hard Target Range. Well, that ends another episode of Hard Target Range. Thanks for tuning in, guys. For Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.